My name is Kate McGrew. I'm a singer, dancer, rapper, actress, acrobat, drummer, lover, all of that. Would you like to come in? Come on in, so. I can open the door. I arrived in Cork August 2008 with 14 members of my family. So we came on a week long trip. And um, uh, the day before I was meant to go back to New York where I had been living, um, I met this family uh, on the Aran Islands. And um, they said to me, you know, if you want to experience the real Ireland kind of thing, uh, you can stay in our house and work in our garden. Uh, etc. So um, I said, careful, I take people up on this kind of thing. And he said, no, we're serious. So, um, so I decided to stay. Is it working? This is a telescope. It is so dark, far away, isn't it? Can you see? Can you see me? Can you see me? Is like the eyes of the wolves far away. It's making me nervous. Like so um, I heard about the job at Black Rock Castle through an email that a friend passed along. Yeah. Do I look good for 500 years old? It's, it is a debatable theory but one that I am willing to test out every day is as it is the gin that preserves my skin. It's all coming from the top of my head, certainly as opposed to the bottom of my arse. Ain't nothing there. Safety first, everybody. You can stand there, but I prefer if you're forming like a shoe horn, a horseshoe, not a shoe horn, the last shape would do as well. Right around here, and I can face you from the stretch. This thing is far too heavy. I'm this is the place, good people, I am mad and gentle wreck. And there. <laughs> Clapping will do! Clapping will do! Ah! I have not done anything yet. This is why castle's not a big deal really. It's just the most beautiful place for miles around. It's mine. You're very welcome here. This is the area where people leave me the prezzies. The gifts. For the tour. There was a lot today. Somebody brought me a car with a lot of old luggage, a play filled with hats and what. And I digress in before I've even started any time. This is my castle, this fireplace is well old. Now then, we're going to go down for the dungeon and have a look in the dungeon. And who will carry this? The children. <laughs> So I put my bag on and came to Cork and um, I had run out of contacts, contact lenses by that point and so I remember I was in city centre and there was uh, music, I could hear music coming from somewhere so I followed it and it was the Peace Park. So I went in, I could tell there were lots of people, you know, so I just sort of like following people and some guy went behind a gate or something so I went with him through the gate and I sat down and the guy across from me said, uh, you're very welcome here. And I said, oh, thanks. And uh, then um, 
people started chanting around me and there was a guy in a microphone and I was part of this pagan circle that was the beginning of, um, of this festival. The wall is 2.2 meters thick. Children, you could be yelling down here as much as you want and nobody would ever hear you. <laughs> I know because I tried. <laughs> <laughs> now, the way that it would work is this. There would have been men down here, scattered about, making jokes. And they would have been placed in front of these two strategically placed windows for gorgeous and strong men. And they would be waiting and hoping and praying to see a pirate ship for a bit of action. You know the way the men want the action without thinking of the consequences. <laughs> and soon they will be sitting there, and this window, of course, is strategically facing the court harbour. And so it is through that that the pirate ships will be arriving from what Argentina and China and Jamaica. <laughs> People, I'll tell you everything I tell you is historical accuracy. <laughs> If you have any questions, I will refer you to my website. <laughs> <laughs> that is www.wikipedia.org. <laughs> Pay attention, child. <laughs> there I can answer your questions in a more formal setting where I am less shy. What? <laughs> now then, I was saying, looking out that window and so I was chanting away with them and I was like oh this is brilliant and um so then there was there were bands playing and I was in the crowd listening to the bands and apparently I was singing along uh kind of loudly and uh it was the italics that were on stage and Emma Fire Red the lead singer and Toby from Wiggle who now um he now makes dubstep as T-Lab, but they came up to me after and they were like, oh, we heard you singing and uh, will you make music with us? And so I did. I, I started making music with them and really quickly uh, it became clear that it was the right thing for me to be here as opposed to moving back to New York. So that was four years ago. Yeah. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. Oh, that little baby Jesus. He's so cute. I just want to pinch him in the cheeks, like. That is the end of the tours for the day which is fantastic because now I will go eat a great big bowl of spaghetti. The secret in it is a great big old dash of backfast. The best spaghetti recipe secret. By myself, Madam Gentle Rick. When I'm on stage, it's like so rooted, really, really rooted, you know? But before and after a gig, it's just like an almost unbearable amount of adrenaline, you know? Just like stupid amount of energy. So just like beyond amped. You can call it what you want to call it. I'd be, I'd be more nervous about the state of things if I didn't have that energy, you know? Because it's really... Uh, it's really useful. Cannon, <laughs> cannon, and you <laughs> in the house. <laughs>
best about performing is when I see that people are excited by it, you know, just like you know, people go to the theater to be to be moved or to laugh and they go because they want to feel those things and so to be able to sort of conjure for people that kind of experience is just the best thing in the world, you know. Everything, everything about it. Um, I just feel so full, you know. Like um, my head feels clear, my you know my body feels strong. You know, I have a it's a stupid amount of adrenaline. You know, I suppose it's clear-headed in a really intense kind of way. But um, uh, and it's just you know as much as it's this kind of old cliche. It was really like uh, the first time I stepped on stage, I just knew, like, I just knew. It really felt like home. It was just like, I just knew it's what I sort of meant to do. And um, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, the place where uh, you can be so expressive, more so than you can in sort of the way that we've created things, you know, on a daily day basis in society, you know, through music and theater and poetry, dance, these things, you sort of come closer to the truth of how you feel and of how things are. <laughs> 